This is why I shouldn't be a slave to the uh, to the views. Uh, because now I'm I'm stuck playing this again. This hellish thing. Uh, I I've spent about half an hour, a good half an hour, just sitting in silence, going as I sort out the uh, the rebels and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, I've also got us out of debt thanks to a gold mine I didn't realize I had, so I've pumped up that one. I've also pumped up our other gold mine, which is around here somewhere. So we're actually in a pretty good place. Uh, I've made liberal use of mercenaries. I think they're all still yeah. I still can't use them. There is one other issue. Uh, the Visigoths have allied the Byzantines, uh, so that's that's fun. But otherwise, boys, we uh, we move. Um, bang! Ah, oh, look how press. Everything I hate myself for this. Rules will always play an issue in our nation, unfortunately. So we we'll just have to deal with that. But for the most part, we are somewhat stable. I was about to say, to celebrate this fact, we're going to go after this lot and take back our cause. But they're allied to the Italians. And uh, yeah, I don't think I can take that. Ooh. When do I get my guys back? Burgundy would come in and Herulia would come in. Herulia being the guys north of me? Where Herulia? Yeah, okay. So we send an army to go and deal with that. An army to go and deal with him. We do have good generals. A 5-5 five, five and a 5-4. I'm going to do it before anyone else wants to come in. Uh, it's going to be to take... What do you have four? I think I can sneak in and grab it. Or should it be something protected by my forts like this? Selly. Oh my god, that's silly. Okay, why did I pronounce it like that? Mm -hmm. Screw it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna start this right by getting my camera in focus. All right, take Selly. Let's do it. Straight in. Do you have a three siege? We do have a three siege guy. Let's see if we can knock Burgundy out early before he can respond. I'm finding someone somewhere. Okay, the Herals. That's fine. God, I hate, I hate playing this, man. Oh, I'll be honest. I, I looked at the views. And I was like, ah, I could probably play it again. And then I actually had to start dealing with the rebel problems. And I was like, this is the worst decision I've ever made. Why did I do this to myself? Okay, I can get you out. Can I get you to annul your alliance with the Byzantines? That'd be lovely. Who else do I care about that you're allied to? Probably the Italians. Mm, you wouldn't quite do that. Negative seven. Uh, but you're not hard to deal with. So I just want you to get rid of the alliance with the Byzantines. See if we can get the heralds out early. Can we just come out? Like, please? No? Okay. That's the issue when they're not one province miners, is that I can't just go and nick their territory and force them out. But that's what I was meant to do. Right. Yeah. I was meant to get naval dominance, uh, and then I was going to bait them into Sicily, then land over here and trap them all there, uh, like a clever chap. Unfortunately, I forgot, because these recordings aren't all done on the same day, and, and now I'm upset with myself. Oh, Jesus, I've walked in just to die. Yeah, let's, see, let's see the stats. Okay, we have better discipline, we have better morale, and we have better, well, so basically we're marginally better. Also, I can't retreat anywhere. Okay, well, that was terrifying. <laughs> Pretty sure the rest of his troops will be coming now. We're gonna quickly pick up free company. Can I get burglars? Because I need them. Egg was on my hard work wiping out that debt. Nah, Jesus. Okay, we won. That's mildly surprising. Uh, okay. I think I know how to win this, but ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see the sweatiest thing you've ever seen. Okay, here's how I win this. I have to look at the combat width, right? Which is 15. Put everyone in stacks of 15 and each time make sure I'm, I'm, I, I put the right amounts of reinforcers in. Kind of like I did uh, when I beat Flory Worry in a 1v1. That was definitely not him throwing. I've been a year and a half ago, like, get more achievements. I literally graduated in that time. I have a master's degree and an undergraduate degree. No, I still brag about that instead. Oh, God, that's sad. All right, that's the heralds done. I don't think I ever sorted out my trade. Oh, well, in another life, perhaps. Yeah, this one's not tenable. Okay, we're actually winning by going to the mountains. Okay, this, uh, this is a thing. <laughs> There's a whole... There's a whole thing now. We, we, we're going to run out of map. We have run out of map. Power. Okay, I don't know where he's going, but that's okay. Because it gives us the opportunity to take these forts. I'm willing to bet that we can beat him in a siege race. Why did I do that? Why did I leave everything to... Come on, okay. Those are too many losses. Wait until you take the mountain forts before doing anything else, though. Come on. There we go. All right, now we take the stock of the situation. We are dying of manpower issues. That's fine. No professionalism to slacken. That's also okay. Okay, so he does have more troops, but he has sort of just separated them a bit. And I'm betting that the AI won't much it off of this fort. Stack it properly. So the reinforcements get in in time to do the combat with thing. This is this is sweaty, boys. This is sweaty. All right, and now we run back and do the same thing in the mountains. He has so many more troops than I do. It's actually kind of ridiculous. I'm tempted just to now hold what we have. What do you want, dog? All right, she wants to be on camera. Do you want to play? I, I, I'm reclaiming Rome. I can't play right now. I should have scorched the earth, to be honest. Wait, Lathe. Wait, wait. Now. <laughs> I'm going to get so sweaty. But to be fair, we have to beat him. And he's, it's two to one. Let's see, where's he going? He's going to... He's going that way. Okay, I'm going to wait until... He he's got a three siege guy. I'm going to wait until he locks in, then fight him. Just going to chuck everything in. That might be a mistake. Okay, right. <laughs> we can become the defender of the faith. I'll give us another 5% morale. Which I think I'm going to do. Otherwise, we are going to keep popping that professionalism. I think we just... I'm just going to have to, like, war of attrition it. I don't see any other option. We're going to have to probably... If we can get the independent army, we'll probably... Do a lot more damage, but it costs about 20 gold per month. 
I don't know if I can afford that. That's the main thing. My current issue is that he also has a three siege general. <laughs> no, one of my good generals died. Oh, oh, oh no. Now I only have like one combat general. Let's see. Does he stay? He does. Let's march in. Okay, how long is it going to take me to get there? Uh, seven. Seven days, so let's hold, hold, hold now. So if you're a fan of long protracted combat, this is gonna be your video voice. <laughs> Cause I'm in a stalemate. I do not have the power to be able to push past this mountain fort. Ever found yourself out and about, but craving a bit of real-time strategy gameplay? Then look no further than the sponsor of this video, World War Armies. This mobile game feels like a PC RTS title, inspired by classics like Company of Heroes and Steel Division. You can enjoy PVP action with a World War II backdrop with a number of authentic vehicles and infantry. There's a wide variety of playstyles to hand, with full control over your units enabling tactical flexibility. Currently, you can choose to play as the Germans or the USA, with more nations coming very soon. In fact, there's a new nation dropping today. There's a massive variety of infantry and vehicle units, from engineers and flamethrowers to Jaegers and tanks. Each unit has its specialty. Some are focused on maximizing damage, others absorbing it and some units play more of a support role, healing units and ensuring their longevity. All units can also be upgraded, offering even more on the battlefield. You can even pick your own generals, with each one having unique abilities, like launching airstrikes or increased resource gain. So you could pick the one that suits your playstyle best. In World War Armies, you can play against players all over the world, with the most skillful coming out on top. Expect action-packed gameplay as you try to overcome your foe using the units and tactics at your disposal. You need to manage your resources and abilities carefully, after all, one unit in the hands of a competent general is worth 10 of one who is not. Global release is on the 30th of June, today. So join now to be the first to try out all of the new content. If you use my link in the description, you can receive an M8 Greyhound tank unit, along with some tokens to get you started. Thanks again to World War Armies for sponsoring this video. Uh, I put them in at the same time, that was a mistake. Ow, 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 okay. Because also with mountains, the combat width is smaller as well. <laughs> There's so much technical stuff going on, it's stupid. I hate this game. I don't want to put- oh no, oh no. Okay, he attacked me in the mountains. That's good. Can I get a stack up here? Oh, buddy. I don't want to scorch the earth here just in case. But let me just show you. Look, the combat width here is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go in seven stacks, basically, which I probably should do. So I can probably beat him in the mountains, but it's going to suck. Okay, there's the fight. We had another 7k in. We wait a couple of days. We had another 7k. That's, that's going to be the fight now, boys. <laughs> that's fun, isn't it? That's fun. That's real fun, bud. All right, I'm just gonna have to take one army and just go and take him out. Let's not forget the caveat of this cartoon, boys, which means if someone takes a piece of land, they can just own it immediately. So that's fun. That's great fun. Okay, go take Tarnow. You guys go over here. I hate this. All right, it's just it's just stupidly painful for no reason. Okay, we've got to get ready for this. Uh, can I slack in again? I can, and I can also get uh, another three siege guy. Two five with three siege? Yes, please. That's what we need. All right, we need that three siege guy in there. Don't watch in there. Okay, we are fighting the mountains. Uh, just about one. Okay, do you want to come out by any chance? White piece, white piece? Yes, okay, good. <laughs> Okay, it's about 70,000 troops here. We have about 20,000 to defend with. Brilliant. All right, let's grab our 5-5 five, five, and let's start moving people in. I hate this. Literally carving out seven stacks so I can get the reinforcement fix perfect. There it is. Another victory. I take more losses each time, though. <laughs> Prestige release zero. Yeah, that's going to happen when I've got all these uncontested cores, which actually aren't technically uncontested anymore because I'm contesting them right now. All right, let's go deal with the separatists. I have uh, an idea, right, which is to just try and out-siege him now. Okay, cool. That's fun. That's fun. The Italians just marched in immediately after dealing with my rebels. Yeah, that, that's okay. I don't want to move because he's currently bugging out. And that's good for me. 445 Marinos, yes, and Anastasia, our Imperatrix is a free three, three, three. My voice is cracking. I'm that excited about a video game. God, I need to get outside more. All right, that's one siege done. Okay, they are gonna be marching on us in just a second. I think we get out at 35% before that siege tick, because I don't trust the AI. And we just basically take a bunch of our cores back. I like having this mountain fort here, because I'm pretty sure each time he's gonna go down to Sicily first, right? So each time he goes to Sicily first, and then we, we win. <laughs> Because we can take this mountain fort and then just bait him onto it. Okay, do we want land or do we want, like, war operations? Because that could be the play. To be honest, our economy is pretty stable. I don't know if I need war operations so much as land. Finish up that state. Uh, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of want to stay in this in this war. Because we can definitely drive that lot off. And then we can try and take his capital. We'll give it a go. Okay, right. So that's that done. Now, we're going to chuck the free company over onto Ravenna. The rest of you lot come down here. Okay, we are kind of trapped. That's fine. I don't mind being trapped. I don't want to be trapped, but I don't mind it. Mercury cost minus 10%. Uh, I could do that or I can grab 
more men. The men are actually landing behind me. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I, I should have built up a navy. I don't know why I didn't. Well, I, I do know why I didn't. I forgot. Okay, they're actually putting men behind me. I don't like this. All right, boys. We might have the manpower for one last little battle. I say little as if it's not going to decide the entire fate of our nation. Actually, I don't think they can get in. No, they, I think they might be trapped here. Did they just... Did, did they just boogaloo themselves? <laughs> okay. Just when I was getting somewhere. All right, who are you? Is it just you? Where are Lemovia? Oh, they're actually pretty big. Okay, well, let's go deal with them. I've got six months to get up there. Okay, well, let's take, I don't know, 15,000 troops and go and do that. It's well, I know it's like most of my army, but it is worth it just to make sure that that doesn't fall. Oh, no. Honestly, I, I, I think we just need to get out of this war. We've got all the ticking war score, which means we have to siege things down. Yeah, let's just, let's just bail. We have sort of the capital exposed to us, though, so that's nice. How much money does he have? 1500 kind of sounds nice okay well 1200 uh, 120 bunch of land it's all my cause not bad of their coalition or at some point we'll 100 percent him but it's not today okay that's that's pretty good i'm pretty happy with that now i gotta go deal with these guys once this 5-5 five, five dies we're kind of screwed just gonna prioritize taking back my land first the nice thing about attacking italy is it's all my cause so i don't need to worry about overextension which has kind of been a, a key player in this uh entire thing right I'm going to do the slow and steady because I want to discover more about this area. Uh oh, my theologian died. That is uh, a bad person to lose. Oh, boy. Oh, I could take another ability, but that crashes my game. I'd have to go and reset all my uh, graphics mods to do that. Please don't be anyone here. Oh, that, well, he's, he's behind me. Okay, let's go deal with that. Because for them, it is all or nothing. Once this war is over, they get destroyed. <laughs> I don't know if it works if they don't take territory. I think it does. Uh oh, just about. Good job, free company. It might be an idea for me just to mass build forts at this point. Okay, prepare for my loans. I make a lot of money per month. A lot of that's from reparations, though. But I think building forts everywhere, kind of a good idea. So let's do that when we can. Oh, come on. Why would you... <laughs> I never really want to fight. A lot of people in the uh, comments of the last video were going, why didn't you ally the Byzantines? I said it in the first 10 seconds of the video. It's like they, they unpaused it where they were like... Why didn't they ally them? I, I, it was, I don't understand. I said it in, in a couple of seconds that I was not allying the Byzantines because I wanted a challenge. I could still ally the Byzantines. All right, let's get rid of the free couple of these to recover the manpower. Don't know where they came from. God damn, these guys can scrap. Wait, who's Craven? Our Emperor's Craven. Oh, that's horrible. I need to get this guy killed. People are starting to get Miltech 20, so I need to get on that. All right, we've 100%ed him. And as such, I'm going to 100% him. That's right, we stretched from C to C to C, boys. Oh, I should have done that. What's my overextension? That's only 45%. It's fine. Now is when I need to build my forts. Okay, the idea is that I need one everywhere to sort our zone of control. So I probably get rid of this one. This is a lot more technical than I usually get in my playthroughs. Usually it's like, ha, I'm gonna mess around and do this fun thing. But this one, because I want to survive, I have to sit here and go, well, I guess it's time for us to look at fort levels, boys, and zone of control and all that fun stuff. Probably need one like here, here, I kind of in the mountains, um, one here, so let's put one here, uh, let's put one here, cost me 208 each time, ah, Jesus, uh, you want that stuff, honestly, dude, I'm not paying you war operations, and I'm not paying you money, but you just want war operations and money, you wouldn't take anything else, that means I have to fight it, I don't want to fight it, but I have to, right, I'm gonna need this money, no forts for me, or peace, so you brought in Hanover, which means you have a lot of troops. Hanover's huge. Uh, and also Hanover formed? I, 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 is that like a formal thing? Okay, I shouldn't have been there. Uh, we have worse stats. Better generals, worse stats. I'm gonna have to purchase the Grand Company. Uh, six months. All right, got our strength up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna have to go through these guys. Get the 5-5 five, five ready. And the rest of the troops. Why does everyone have so many forts? Gotta take back these lands. Uh, every time I have to fight one of these wars, there's going to be an explosion of rebels. And I can't deal with them all. But then I have to, because otherwise I die. This fort is honestly such a dream. Okay, uh, Frankie has been hired by Hanover. That's fun. Okay, that's lots of rebels. And they keep on getting more separatism each time, which makes them more likely to rebel. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why I do this. I don't want to play this game. All right. I'm going to take... The grand company and go and start dealing with rebels. This is why I want the forts everywhere. This is why I should get forts everywhere. All right, we've taken his capital. Sure, that means you want to surrender, right? You've had enough? You want to go home? No, of course not. That would make complete sense. And this is your rope beat of a Salas fort. Ah, why does everyone have so many goddamn forts? Again, should have scorched the earth. Keep on forgetting to do that. 
There's only so many meta things I can remember at one time, but we are sort of mildly making money, so that's nice. For those of you wondering about the religion map mode, I saw a couple of comments. Uh, mostly Chalcedonian now. We've got some South Arabian. <laughs> that's, that's what it's looking like. Now, if I can get my troops back up here ASAP, I'm tempted to just rid myself of these Pomeranian swines. All right, we're starting to make some cores at least. All right, a lot of 90%s over here, so I can't do this forever. But once I have the Grand Company hired, might as well use them, right? Having said that, that is a lot of troops. You lot again. Get anything that I want, can I? Can never, can never have nice things, can I? I can't even take war operations. Okay. Um, let's just take money and get out. Literally 16 ducats. We have to make choices. That's that's a hard one to swallow, for sure. Is it just you? Did you call it? You call them Mazovia. Okay. Well, Mazovia are quite close. I'm going to murder you both. I hope you know this. Was that the 5-5? Five five? It wasn't. It wasn't the 5-5. Five five. Why were we fighting without our 5-5? Five five? What kind of logic is this? <laughs> It's just, I can't even commentate over this. It's just anarchy. That's all this is. Right, I actually need to pick one. 3-3 three, three isn't bad. 2-5 already have. Yeah, not you, not you, not you. And for my next trick, I'll make 11,000 men appear. And another 11,000 men appear. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, if you want to siege down a fort, I'll let you siege down a fort. There's no way you'll take it in time. All right, one's that siege. All right, let's start. I think I'm going to start pushed up into these unknown territories and have this 90,000 just wait in case uh, we need to fight that but they want to fight me too early because they'll just retreat into the unknown come on just finish him off you won't get in the month tick okay they didn't that time brilliant it's like it might be the first time in e4 i've actually not had the month tick screw me over they don't happen there they have the breach walls did they try and leave and just decide against it <laughs> that's not good Oh, this one guy. That's much better. All right, we kind of come out of this sort of okay. Uh, I will be fully annexing both of these nations. I don't care. You might be wondering, why am I not collapsing into coalitions? Well, it's because they keep, they keep on doing this decision. So they have a decision, by the way, on the flip side of things, that they can uh, just declare war on Rome, and that's why it says no Casas Bella, because it's like a decision-based thing. It's not a Casas Bella-based thing. Um, and that's how they're able to get the special flip event thing. However, as such, they click the button, and they don't declare war as a coalition but it also means i have truces with well bloody everyone because everyone does it and usually for some of these guys what i can do is my usual strategy like i saw like you saw at the start of the video with burgundy right so i put a man on the capital and then i go and take the provinces around it and usually that's enough to make the peace out usually then i can wipe peace with them okay that's not good he died in battle i think just gonna make sure we're up at three stability it's always a good idea oh, that's nice court bottle stoppers isn't that good for you byzantium hope you're having a great time look at them just pushing back the Sassanids. No, I don't think they've done too much, actually. They've just let the Italians have North Africa. Meanwhile, I'm desperately trying to, like, reconquer the empire. Well, to restore the Roman Empire, I need to have these provinces, and Byzantium needs to not exist. <laughs> this is technology reform, which I, we need admin tech uh, at least 46. Uh, we are on admin tech, like, 90, so that's a while away. Like several, perhaps, thousand years <laughs> away. Now, now we're starting to get to dangerous territories of coalitions, but we deal with it. We move. Ultimately... I've got to keep annexing people that attack me, otherwise they'll just keep attacking me over and over again. Right, I do need to start organizing my army at some point as well into like stacks of 16. But I think we can breathe now. All right, we're not getting instantly attacked. We have a bit of money. We've got some manpower behind us. All right, stacks of 16 or 17 should do us. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Macrinus Sejanus, the 5-5, five five, who is, I mean, he's, he's taken us through thick and thin. He really has. I wonder what the culture is down here. Dalmatian, that's our main culture. Also, I've not taken... Uh, defensiveness off this entire time. I'm going to do it for the first time. Just because everyone kept on rushing over there, taking me out. What buildings can I even build? I, I feel stable enough to actually start doing stuff. Okay, well, it's just this, isn't it? I swear previously you could, in previous editions, you could build roads. I'm building a lot of roads. Right, first things first, let's start building forts in areas that are, like, strategically important, like choke points and stuff. This isn't going to be cheap. <laughs> Uh, that's a good fort. This actually isn't a good fort. I'd want it to be here, so let's get rid of this one. Oh, truce with Italy. Still allowed to Burgundy, Herulia. Would all your allies come in? They would. Right, all our forts. I'm gonna start provoking revolts such that I can actually rest my, my troops, put them on, like, low maintenance and make some money enough for the fort project. Well, basically, be, instead of the Great Wall of China, it's gonna be the scattered forts of Rome. It doesn't have the, quite the same ring to it, but I assure you it's gonna be more effective. Okay, well, that's that. I mean, we're called West Rome, but what are we west of? We're definitively most of our stuff is east of Rome. We don't even have Rome. We're just west. We're just east. No, we're what are we? We're in a crisis of... No. Oh, the main guy. He's dead. 
No, let's summon a bunch of troops in Zana. Ah, uh, six, five. We found our replacement. A full siege. All right, well, I feel a lot better about this now. Chuck that six, five in. And Tokius Cornelius. Good job. I'd really get my money's worth with this lot. We get that mercenary maintenance. We've already got mercenary cost minus 10%. If we get that mercenary maintenance minus 10%, and that core creation cost minus 10%, that'd be lovely. Oh dear. Okay, we almost lost that. Pretty sure that puts the grand company out of action. If they got one more fight in a nice little double up there. Uh, it's, it's not really so anymore. Why is it saying that? There we go, 179. Worth it. We were so close, boys. <laughs> Is it just you again? Did you know you brought Hanover in? All right, sweet. So close to stability. But to be fair, I will crush you this time. See, this is the advantage of these forts. <laughs> He's stuck there. Okay, these, these forts are, are good. I need to continue this project. You know, when I have the money to. I feel like I'm going to be poor for a long time now. I'm going to nip down here and murder this lot. Stupid Lombardy. Where are you going, bud? Hmm? Hmm? Bring everyone forwards. Feeling pretty confident enough that I can go and deal with these rebels now. Still a contested cause. Yeah, we've got a truce with uh, Italy now. So there goes the prestige we once had. What's well, better than where we started, where we had like minus 100 the entire game. Also, I didn't appreciate the comments that were pointing out. Oh, he made Austria hungry. There were so many of them and they made me sad. <laughs> I'm trying my best. All right, so 18,000 down to deal with the hired troops over there. We've got more rebels, unsurprisingly. I haven't messed with my estates for a long time. Expansion Zealotry could be quite good, but I think everyone over here is... Yeah, everyone's pretty much everyone's Chalcedonian now. Grab a state. Oh, I didn't do that before. The fleet! The fleet! That's what I was meant to do. The fleet! I mean, how many galleys does he have? Is it worth me building a fleet? He has 12 galleys. We could definitely... With, like, 20 galleys, we can beat, we can beat that. Probably. Yeah, we can beat that. Easy. That's right, bud. i got nowhere else to be. I'll sit here and be real methodical about this. <laughs> Love, buddy. Are you serious? Go take out kind of his capital. Oh, they're defending it. That's fine. I'll go around. Okay. Almost messed that one up. Okay. Things, things, things are getting dicey. Okay. Right. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Like, just calm down and build more ships the British way. Ah, losing the siege of Stralsund. Not great. Not good at all, considering a large chunk of my army is not here. And that trapped a large chunk of his army. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's not good. That's... That's bad. Let's just everyone march to Hanover and hold there. <laughs> oh, God. Why didn't I wait for there to be more troops in Hanover's province? This is a mistake. A big mistake. Okay, we're on the siege of Hanover. Okay, surely he wants to peace out, right? Hanover. Huh? Buddy? He's allied to the east of Geats. Those bastards. <laughs> they made my life miserable. Okay, Hanover will just peace out. So let's do that. Leaving just Pomerania. I'm gonna pile it on them. Okay, they're, they're doing very well. <laughs> All right. That should be that done. So now we're gonna take these provinces. It's the only way they'll learn. Ah, okay. We're just consolidating Europe. We've made no progress towards actual Rome. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one cavalry. No, we don't need them. Okay, we have 45,000 troops, right? And these guys. I probably wanna increase that number. Well, there's an easy way of doing that. Where's the other gold mine? There he is. I'll increase our income quite a bit after the corruption's done. Multiple these forts. So again, these forts up here, going to be keeping them because they're quite useful. This one, kind of useless. Or is it this one that's useless? I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, from now on, we, everything goes into, I don't know, templates of 17 is probably better. All right, we need everything to conform to that. Every time the theologian dies, it, it, it's bad because it represents a massive expense to try and find one again. A four and four is not bad. And also rebels will rise up in the meantime until we get one back. Uh, actually, we kind of need one of these guys right now because most of our money does come from... Oh, my time. Right, we're almost done with our ideas. Hey, Chalcedonian zealots! Hooray! All right, we finish off our ideas. Lovely. I think my next step is to go after Italy aggressively. Uh, I've been building up the navy. Probably want more of a navy. 21 and then probably like uh, three transports. To pull off what I want to pull off. Isn't the team stopping me from fighting them? I can fight Vanis. Let's do that. Sounds like fun. Be behind uh, like uh, 17,000 men. I'm not going to need that many. I'm actually going to build another 17,000 over here. I think this stuff I can put into a trade company, which might actually be better for. Nah, it's not the Roman way, is it? Trade companies. Direct control, boys. And to hell with the consequences. White Croatia wants an alliance. That's the first alliance offer we've gotten from someone other than the Byzantines. Everyone just hates us. All right, retake court. Let's head in here. Grab our four siege guy. Take out the Burgundians as well. Why not? Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of rebellions left behind. So a lot of people wanted me to play as Soy Song, like I said at the last of the end of the video. Uh, I was, that was the original plan, to play as like the last rump state of the, uh, the Roman Empire. But then I figured, why play as the last rump state of the Roman Empire when I can literally play as the Western Roman Empire? Um, and that was the story of how I got submitted to a psychiatric ward for uh, masochism. What? Why? You're Chalcedonian? What? Why would you do that? Oh, we can another thing. We don't ever get to do that. Technology cost or idea cost? Idea cost, obviously. We're not going to have any idea cost for like a while. So why would I do that? That would have been really stupid. <laughs> that would have been really dumb. Okay, well, 
I guess, technology cost. Right, Burgundy, I want you to annul your alliance with Byzantium and the Italians and their rules. Uh, give me war operations, give me a bunch of money. Thank you. These guys are having such a pleasant life over here. Meanwhile, Ant Antiochus is just like murdering rebels left and right, desperately trying to survive ourselves. An admiral and an Anatolius Flaminius. You're going to take on the Italian fleet and you're going to win. I kind of feel like we need some more ships, bro. I don't know if we can take out the Italian fleet like that. Yeah, these things are cheap anyway. God damn, this is taking ages. Five, five, with a three seas general, it took 500 days. I had a navy I could have used, I suppose. <gasps> are you fighting the Visigoths? You are. Okay, we need to get some planes. All right, we took back some more lands. It's always nice. All right, when the Byzantines don't want to come in, we go off to Soissons because they still have like a couple of our cores. Speaking of, our navy is almost ready, boys. All right, that's prep for this. Although that's a lot of separatists that I might want to deal with. Okay, why are you upset? Intolerance. Bro, I'm so tolerant. You don't even understand how tolerant I am. That's why I'm going to go around converting. All right, let's get our 3,000 men for this mission. My hopes and dreams rest on you, boys. All right, so declaring war on the Italians again would bring in Herulia and Nahav... What the hell is that? Okay, two one province miners, which I could probably take out. I think Herulia... Well, Herulia actually has more true provinces. Uh, do they? No, just that one. Okay, and you're also one province miner. Okay, but you both have big forts, so that's going to suck. All right, Hanover. Why? I was in the middle of something here. Just can't ever let me be happy, can you? It makes sense. It cost me almost five a month. Dude, the Lombards are so annoying. I had so many better things to do than fight you, Hanover. I, I'm tempted just to, like, nip in and nip out, you know, instead of taking anything like you usually would. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Your capital is so exposed. Right, I should be able to take his capital before any of his buddies take any of my stuff. Keyword there is should. And then we can go straight after Italy. Because that's where I'd rather be right now. There's the Siege of Hanover one. Can we get out of this war now? Get rid of the Eastern Geats. Uh, you know what? I, I just don't care. How much money do you have? I don't care. Just get out of the war. Oh, he's inspiring. Yes. Byzantines are slightly not going to come in. I'm tempted to go after them, but I think Italy is the main thing. If we could take Rome in this war, that would be huge. So much so that I'm going to try and get rid of as many rebels as possible. Step one, instability. Step two, get the National Rest Advisor. That's mission strength, which could also be really useful. Ah, <laughs> that's... Kind of useful because that's the main reason we have rebellions is all of these places, like all these other places. The tolerance of true faith, they don't actually rise up anymore. Okay, no, we're going to go aggressive. I don't know where the Italian navy is. It has to be somewhere, right? The one professionalism, so we are going to do that. Get rid of that lot. Uh, then we're going to hire the free company just to help with sieges. That's not a time to lose the 6-6. Six, six. Oh, God. Italy declared war on the Ostrogoths. On the Visigoths, sorry. Uh, that's kind of good for us, but also kind of not because it means they're probably not going to go for Sicily. I'm gonna take Curia. Let's do it. I take this as proof that it would have worked. Why is there another 17,000 up here? You're meant to be down there. Why are you up here? Right, let's go take Ravenna. Lock the forts, which is nice. I'm kind of sad the whole navy thing didn't, didn't pan out now. Please just come out of the war. Right, we won the siege of Ravenna. Uh, we're gonna go after that mountain fort. Don't know where their troops are. Won the siege of Rathabor. Excellent. Let's get these troops down here. What are we gonna do with that? One or the other. Break your alliance with the Italians. Give me your money. War operation, that sort of stuff. Here come the Italians. Stay strong, boys. Stay strong. Okay, that's another siege one. All right. That's his allies dealt with. Uh, yeah. <laughs> note the mild note of concern in my voice. I suppose let's get Herulia out of here and bring all of our troops to bear. I think they're getting destroyed by the Austrians, though, by the Visigoths. I keep on confusing those two goths. So there's that siege. Okay, I don't want to be fighting that just yet. If I can cut Italy in two, this would be magical. Oh, there was always a stack like Those are so, so rare in this game, uh, in this mod. It's just, it's horrible how hard it is. Okay, where are you going? You're going to Ilian's. That's fine. Just got to stay patient. Everything's going to be fine. Going to get rid of this lot because the fleet is actually costing me like five ducats a month. And I'd rather have the five ducats than the fleet at this point. The only downside to this is it makes the Visigoths stronger. And they're kind of big. Uh, well, they only actually know they're smaller than me. So is Italy. I'm actually almost I'm bigger than the... I've got the second largest force limit. I could almost dwarf the Byzantines, but the Byzantines just have cash and manpower for days. Yeah, they're losing battles. Huh. Okay, we just stack wiped what could have been the free company. We are going to blow up here and then head down here. And we are going to... We're actually Siege of Rome, boys. We're actually doing it. We just instantly won the Siege of Rome. It's the people wanted it. They knew who we were. Oh, she was actually an insane Imperatrix. All right, what we got next? Uh, Mazovian Separatists. I've just got an army up here just dealing with this kind of stuff. Hmm. It's still kind of dicey enough that I'd rather not fight them. Oh, Dreddy and Wine. Lovely. I'll help with some unrest. Actually, really helps with some unrest. Man, the Visigoths are taking their sweet-ass time to take this province. Meanwhile, we won the Siege of Genoa, and our navy has kind of been put to good use. Algeria's here. <laughs> hey, bud. How's it going? Siege of Campania's won. 
Is this mountains? I think it's hills. Okay, let's just keep pushing around. Give him a chance to move out of there. He takes it. We're going to stack like that. The Italians have seemingly just given up. All right, we're going to march into Sicily now. God, it's been a while since we were back here. Please stack right. Nope. He's in the mountains. This is going to be painful. Ow, ow. Okay. I think the Algerian stack worked. <laughs> right, we're going to liberate our brothers in Sicily that we technically own but have never actually visited. Hey, guys. Yeah, we were ruling you the whole time. You have a lot of taxes due. So it looks like the Visigoths pieced out. And I think that might be it for us. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have taken back Rome. Oh, and you already know I'm making it my capital. We're a large empire, which doesn't help us, but that's fine. Rebels around the country. What rebels? Businesses want alliance. No, we want to unite this bitch. Oh my god, we actually did it. We actually broke the Italians. We can move our capital to Rome, boys. I mean, to be fair, Salona did serve us very well indeed, but Rome is, it's Rome. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the saga of Rome today. Uh, we achieved quite a lot. We have a lot of stability because uh, we've been converting everything. And in a converted province, all these places have no unrest, basically. We are a large empire, but that's counteracted by the fact we are trading in wine. Uh, we don't actually get any exhaustion because of our Defender of the Faith side of things. Um, yeah, we're pretty stable. We get like 20 ducats a month. We've got gold mines. We've got manpower. What's our, like... Our force them is, is almost that of the Byzantines. I mean, our manpower is nowhere near, and they've also got a lot of cavalry. But still, we're on our way. I did say last time I wasn't going to do another one of these. However, <laughs> views, boys. <laughs> you really liked it, and people were liking and subscribing, and, uh, and that's what I have to follow at the end of the day. So if you want to see more, if you want me to see me ultimately take out uh, the Byzantines and conquer uh, Rome and restore it and click this decision, please do make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I, I need to make sure the Byzantines don't exist. I need to own a lot of places. Uh, I think what we do first is probably take out the Visigoths, take out Italy, consolidate our holdings over here, uh, conquer Suisson, and then once we have a decent number, we would probably go after the Byzantines and try and crush them. In the first war, probably take as much of the Balkans as possible and then just keep pushing, I suppose. So yeah, if that's something you want to see, please do let me know and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.